What if the dinosaur meteorite hit Earth again? Think about it. The asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs wasn't just a disaster. It was a reset button for the entire planet. If something like that happened today, would humanity survive? Could we stop it? Or would Earth's story take a completely different turn? In this video, we're going to explore this question from every angle. We'll dive into the science of what happened 66 million years ago, what a modern-day impact would look like, and, most importantly, what it would mean for us. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell so you never miss a video. Ready? Let's jump in. To understand what we'd be dealing with, let's take a quick trip back in time. 66 million years ago to be exact. The asteroid that ended the reign of the dinosaurs wasn't just big, it was colossal. Scientists estimate it was about 10 kilometers, 6 miles wide, roughly the size of Mount Everest. When this giant rock slammed into Earth near what is now the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, it released energy equivalent to 10 billion atomic bombs like the one dropped on Hiroshima. The immediate effects were catastrophic. The impact vaporized everything in its path and created a crater over 150 kilometers, 93 miles wide. But that was just the beginning. The collision sent debris flying into the atmosphere, triggering wildfires, tsunamis, and massive shockwaves that traveled around the globe. Then came the impact winter. Dust and soot blocked out the sun, causing temperatures to plummet. Plants couldn't photosynthesize, ecosystems collapsed, and about 75% of all life on Earth, including the dinosaurs, was wiped out. Could it happen again? Now here's the scary part. There's nothing in the laws of physics that says it can't happen again. In fact, Earth gets hit by smaller asteroids all the time. Most burn up in the atmosphere, but every now and then, a larger one slips through. For example, in 2013, a meteor about 20 meters wide exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia, injuring over 1,500 people. And let's not forget the Tunguska event in 1908, where an asteroid flattened 2,000 square kilometers, 770 square miles, of Siberian forest. What about a dinosaur-level asteroid? Statistically, an impact like that happens about once every 100 million years. It's been 66 million years since the last one, so while we're not necessarily overdue, the odds are far from zero. NASA and other space agencies track thousands of near-Earth objects, NEOs, which are asteroids and comets that come within 48 million kilometers, 30 million miles of our planet. Of these, around 2,300 are classified as potentially hazardous objects, big enough and close enough to pose a threat. But here's the good news. So far, none of the asteroids we've tracked are on a collision course with Earth, at least not in the near future. Still, smaller meteors enter Earth's atmosphere all the time, and it's a reminder that we're not immune to cosmic threats. Now let's imagine the worst case scenario. A Chicxulub-sized asteroid is heading straight for Earth. What would actually happen? First, the asteroid would hit with unimaginable force. If it struck land, it would create a crater dozens of miles wide, vaporizing everything in the surrounding area instantly. Cities, forests, mountains, gone in a flash. If it hit the ocean, the resulting tsunamis could be hundreds of meters high, wiping out coastal cities around the world. Think about places like New York, Tokyo, or Rio de Janeiro. They'd be completely submerged. The heat from the impact would ignite wildfires across the planet. Debris ejected into the atmosphere would rain down as molten rock, sparking more fires wherever it landed. This is where things go from bad to worse. The debris thrown into the atmosphere would form a dense cloud, blocking sunlight for months or even years. Without sunlight, plants would die, ecosystems would collapse, and temperatures would plummet. It would be like a global nuclear winter, only worse. With food chains disrupted, most species, including humans, would struggle to survive. Starvation, extreme weather, and collapsing infrastructure would make survival incredibly difficult. Could we stop it? Unlike the dinosaurs, we have one major advantage, technology. 
Humanity has already started preparing for this kind of threat, and the science is pretty incredible. In 2022, NASA successfully carried out the DART mission, the Double Asteroid Redirection Test. They deliberately crashed a spacecraft into an asteroid to change its course. The mission proved that we can alter an asteroid's trajectory if we detect it early enough. Other ideas on the table include nuclear deflection, detonating a bomb near the asteroid to change its path, gravity tractors, using a spacecraft's gravitational pull to slowly steer the asteroid away, kinetic impactors, similar to DART but with even larger spacecraft. The key is early detection. The sooner we spot a dangerous asteroid, the more time we have to act. But let's say we couldn't stop it and the asteroid hit. Would life on Earth ever recover? The short answer is yes, eventually. After the Chicxulub impact, life on Earth didn't end, it just changed. Mammals, including our distant ancestors, survived and eventually thrived in the post-impact world. For humans, survival would depend on preparation. Governments and scientists are already working on contingency plans, like underground bunkers or seed vaults to preserve agriculture. Humanity's resilience and adaptability would be our greatest strengths. So, should we all start panicking and building doomsday bunkers? Not exactly. The odds of a catastrophic asteroid impact happening in our lifetime are incredibly low, but the possibility reminds us how interconnected and fragile life on Earth can be. It also highlights the importance of space exploration and planetary defense. The more we learn about the universe, the better prepared we'll be for whatever it throws at us. So, what if the dinosaur meteorite hit Earth again? The truth is, it would be catastrophic, but not necessarily the end of the story. Humanity has the tools, the knowledge, and the determination to survive and adapt. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, share it with a friend, and let us know in the comments. What's your biggest what if question?